Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today, the topic which we are going to discuss is moving average in Spark. So recently, one of my followers have asked me, like there was an interview question about this. So calculate moving average using Spark. So first of all, what is this moving average is all about? So this is the terminology used in the statistics. And also, this is one of the important terminology people use in share market, that is stock market. So you'll be seeing this moving average of 50 days, moving average of daily, moving average of last three months. So I'll tell you what exactly it is. So in, 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 in a statistical uh, definition, right, what they used to call a moving average is a moving average is a calculation to analyze data points by creating a series of averages. So that, that line is very important. Series of averages of different subset of the full data set. So that means like generally how you will calculate the average. So I have like 10 records. So then you will be doing first record to last record, you will be doing the summation and then you will be divided by 10, right? So that is an average that you are taking for all 10 records. But when I say moving average for each record means, so for every record, you have to take the average. So for every record, how can I do that? So for every record, it's like you have a series of data and you have to get the series of average. So and that is what we call it as a moving average, moving average of salary in a, in a company, or I can say moving average in a stock market for a specific uh, brand of stock. So this is how they used to calculate, uh, or this is how they used to expect us to calculate the moving average. So I just told you the example, but I haven't given you the uh, formula or the way how to, uh, bring this calculation, right? So I'll tell you that. So uh, let's get into the practical part now. And one more thing, this moving average is also called as like uh, moving mean or rolling mean. So this is something I just wanted to tell you. Fine. Okay. Now, if you see here, like uh, I'm going to uh, show you with uh, at some 10 records, it's like a salary based on the role. And then with this, I'm going to take the moving average of a salary for a given role. That's it. Now imagine like um, if you go for websites like Glassdoor, right? So you will be searching for what is the salary for a five-year experience data engineer. So you will be getting some output from different websites. So one such as Glassdoor and, and very sure like all five-year experience data engineer will not get the same salary. Some ups and downs will be there, but how they are calculating with one value is it's all about average. Either it will be a complete average or it will be a moving average. And another live example I can tell you is stock, stock market, right? Fine. So I just created uh, a column by using sequence and then I'm created a data set again by using sequence. So and then I'm just creating an RDD by parallelizing the data. Fine. Now I'll run this and I'm using two imports. One is window. I'm going to use a window function and then I'm using an implicit function also. Fine. So let me run all this. Okay. Created a column and data set. Now the next point, I'll just clear my screen. So the next thing is I have to create an RDD. Okay. So yeah, I created an RDD. Now I'm just converting it to a data frame. Also, I'm just creating a column for it. So you can use this one, which is in line number 21 or this one, line number 23. Both are same. Since already we created a val columns, it's already available. So I'm going with line number 23. So now I'm just converting it to a DF. So I can do a show here. I'm sorry. So this will give you the data frame. So you have name, role and salary. Fine. So now what next? So and that's all. So this is the line, very important line, the, the requirement of the code itself. So while moving average, that is move average AVG equal to DF from RDD is the variable which you can see in line number 23. I'm just passing it here and with column, which will create a new column for the given transformation that you are doing. So now moving average, comma, average of salary. So you are getting the average of salary, but then you are doing a window function here over. Over is a window function. So window dot partition by role. So role based, you are doing a partition and then you have something called rows between like since we are using the window function. So you need to know like how many records for the given window it has to be, how many records I have to bring it to a window. So that is what a, uh, like the row between the rows between is a, a main important part here. So minus one comma one. So this is between actually. So that means minus one comma zero comma one. So minus one represent the previous row. 0 represent the current row, 1 represent the last row. Okay, so if you consider here, I'm going to get the average and that is a moving average for row row by row. So if you see here, if I consider 
uh, if I take the record mic, right? So when I take mic, so it will consider the previous record Rahul, current record mic, next record Peter. So I'll, I'll, I'm yet to give you the formula of how to calculate the moving average. So for that, I'll first show you the output. Just copy this line and then like you paste it here. Fine. So now I'll just clear my screen. So now I'll just do this moving average dot show. So now you will be seeing one more additional column because we have used with column here. Yeah, moving average. And now you can get the records here. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is role based we have done. Okay, role based we have done the uh, uh, partition partitioned by row and it is like the, uh, the function what we have triggered is average and rows between we have given. So it's role based. Fine. So what about the first? Uh, I'll just pick you one record which is in middle okay john 65000 and if you see the moving average for this particular record is 72333 and how is that calculation is so i'll just show you here so the rows between what we have given is minus one zero and one for every given record you have to consider the previous record current record and next record so in that case for john it is current row for john you have to consider the previous uh, row salary which is 70000 plus then zero which is the current record which is 65,000 as the salary plus the next one that which is one right so next one minus one zero one next record is 82,000 okay now equal to 217000 okay divide by three so what is the output you are getting 72,333 yeah that is what the moving average of the second record now you can ask me an interesting question what will be the moving average of first record because we don't have a previous record for first record so what generally spark used to do when it is a first record it used to consider only the current and next row okay not the previous so in that means if you consider the first row which is 70,000 which is the current row plus the next 65,000 answer 135000 so 135000 divide by 2 it's not 3 because we considered only two rows right current and next because there is no previous so 67500 and the same way for the last row for the given partition so the last row in the partition is this one saran it's not kumar okay so in that case it will consider the previous row and current not the next for each partition first and last row will be calculated this way only okay for but 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 whatever you see other than first and last row, it goes with three records like previous, current and next. And the same thing happens for the developer. This is the next partition, right? One, pa one is test partition and tester partition and the second role is developer partition. And again here, it, this, this one is the first record. So it will consider the current and next, not the previous. And then for last developer, it is previous and current, not the next. But in between whatever you see the record, it will consider previous, current and next. Okay. So this is how the moving average has been getting calculated. So this video, like uh, it's like I showed you with the salary uh, example for the moving average. But in internet, if you see like a lot of programs are there even for stock market. So you you can just go through. You can just search for it. And and this is something I I got from so many people in recent days. Like they are asking this in an interview. So that's why I made this video. And thanks for watching. If you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. So I have one more channel called Only Digital Guy, like where I'm just uploading digital marketing content creation kind of videos it's a new channel and keep on uploading videos and please support me to that channel as well and if you need the complete videos of my big data from lesson one to lesson n so you can get it that in the description box where i've shared the link and thanks for watching